Morning, everyone. It's Daryl. Uh, I'm going to do a Uber Chronicle number four. And let me know if you enjoy these. If you don't enjoy these, I won't, I won't do any more. I kind of just do an update each day when I'm done with my day. So, first of all, my daughter's got me a wonderful shirt for Father's Day. Look at that. Isn't that awesome? Sporty and sparky. That's my girls. So, uh, today is Thursday, June 29th, 2023. I worked from 6 a.m. till about 10 a.m. this morning. Just finished up. Um, so, I just want to give you the highlights real quick. Uh, I won't take up a lot of time. I completed 10 trips. I drove 120.6 miles. I averaged 4.6 miles per kilowatt. And my gross income today was 87.75. Not great, not bad, just an average, average day. So um, I wanted to touch base real quick on a couple of things. Uber is being very nice to uh, EV drivers. Currently, they're offering you a dollar bonus if you own a, a totally EV, um, a dollar bonus per trip on top of each ride fare that you get. So if you take 10 trips and you complete, you have to complete 10 trips or complete your trips, you receive a dollar. So today I got, I got $10 extra. Yesterday, I think I had nine trips. I got $9 extra. And then at the end of the week, they'll send you a notice that because you are a, you own an EV, uh, you took 44 trips or 38 trips. So you received an extra $44. And that money is on top of your fare price. Um, but like this morning, I drove to Morton, Illinois. I had a, a trip to my very first pickup at 6 a.m., and that was a no-show. So let me let me explain. When you arrive on scene at an address, the passenger is notified that you've arrived. Then they have about three minutes of time to get their stuff together, get to the car, get in, and then we can swipe to start the trip wherever they're going to. If in the first three minutes they don't arrive, Uber then puts them on a charge where they're charged a very minimal fee for the next up to five minutes or as long as you want to wait. Um, then after five minutes of that time, after your initial three, then five more minutes, you're at eight minutes, you can cancel the trip. The driver has the right to cancel the trip. So I very first trip today, waited and waited at an apartment complex in Morton, Illinois. Um, no arrival, no message from them that they were late, they're going to be a little bit. So I got paid a very nominal fee, very, very small for my wasted time and travel time and miles. And then I didn't get a completed trip, so I also don't get an extra dollar. Um, so with that, um, I then, my second trip was, uh, to a location way out North Peoria, I don't know, 17 miles away, 18 miles away. Uh, and that's where you, you're not, it's not very efficient. There's a lot of interstate driving, um, driving 18 miles to get a pickup and then they may work nine miles away. So then you drive another 15 minutes to take them to work or 10 miles. They, they could live, you know, uh, one gentleman today I picked up in Peoria, um, North Peoria, worked back in Morton, Illinois, which is 15, 16 miles away. So that was one trip to get him back there. Um, so sometimes when you have issues like that, you don't make a lot of, trips and they're very lengthy 
whether it's wait times or drive to long, long places to pick somebody up and then they work 10, 12, 14, 16 miles away, the opposite way. So, um, but I'll end on a note that has got me perplexed and I'd like to hear from you guys what you think. Numerous times I've picked up employees. I'm taking people to work all morning. That's, that's what I do. Um, this morning, picked up an individual, took them to work at McDonald's. The question I have is this person worked seven miles away at a McDonald's. We passed two McDonald's on the way, including one being very close to this person's residence. So my, my question is why, why would they not switch to a closer location to work? I have noticed this, I'm sure they all need work, workers. I've noticed this so many times over the last few months that someone will leave an area that has numerous, numerous places to work, including the same business that they work at, and I'll drive them 10 miles, 12 miles, 14, 17 miles, one day 17 miles away to a business that they could have walked to really close. So I'm, I'm perplexed, confused, and I understand that they don't work at that business, but to me, if you already work at, say, a McDonald's or Taco Bell or hundreds of other businesses, you could find a business close within walking distance. Seems more feasible, but... Um, so anyway, I will end it there. I am currently... I ended up in Wal at Walmart in East Peoria, Illinois. Again, on my last drop-off of two individuals. And so I was really close to uh, Target and East Peoria. So I just pulled in here to do a quick video, grab an extra 15, 20 miles of free charge um, in their area, downtown Levy District, as they're called. And again, shout out to East Peoria. What a great job they're doing. Very, very much appreciated. So with that, uh, I won't take up any more of your time. Uh, you guys have a blessed day. And uh, please like and subscribe. I would appreciate it. Thank you.